How far does the DYU Cycle King 750 e-bike go on a single charge? Let's find out. The bike boasts a respectable 960 watt hour battery, and the manufacturer's claimed range is approximately 50 miles by throttle or approximately 80 miles by pedal assist. The first test I did, which I already covered in my unboxing video, was a bit of a torture test where I made the bike climb up a gnarly grade for an hour and then went trail riding with it. The total mileage for that ride was 33 miles on GP and 30 miles on the bike's odometer, but 10 of those miles were spent coasting to the bottom of the climb, so it really did 20 miles under power. But that was a brutal 20 miles, so it was actually impressive. Today's test was to see what actual range I would get just using the bike in a real-world fashion. I charged the bike to full, let it cool overnight, and then rode it around to explore bike paths, trails, and run some errands the next day. I used a mixture of pedal assist and throttle in all three different speed modes, just riding it however I saw fit for the environment. There were some mild to moderate hills involved, but nothing too crazy, and nothing more than a few minutes of climbing at a time. So this was just really a very normal use case scenario. The ride ended up lasting 2 hours and 58 minutes until the bike stopped providing meaningful assistance, and it covered 46.6 GPS recorded miles during that time. So at an average speed of 15.7 miles per hour, letting the bike do most of the work with some mild hills and a few trails thrown in, you can expect somewhere around 3 hours of ride time and somewhere around 45 miles of distance. This is a bit shy of the claimed 50 miles by throttle range, but given the results here, I would not doubt that it could achieve 50 miles under its own power given a constant cruise with no stopping, no hills, and otherwise ideal conditions, which is surely what the manufacturer's rating is based on. Overall, I'm happy with the range outcome, and it's actually just a ton more range than I would actually want to do in a single day. So for the types of things you'd actually do on a bike like this, which would be commuting, getting around a campground, running air errands, or playing around on light trails, the battery that it comes with should be plenty. As icing on the cake during this test, I was happy to find that you can charge the battery separately from the bike without having to have any additional adapters. This is very nice for me since I can just take the battery off the bike and charge it inside my trailer or inside my office at work, which is super convenient. Overall, definitely happy with the battery situation on this bike.